as usual, take those, these first moments of your practice just to arrive and to settle in. You can feel your feet on the ground, maybe give your toes a little wiggle or a little stretch. And then bring your attention up through the legs, see if you can get your knees more or less over your ankles, and then see if you can align your knees straight in front of your hip joint. So think about hip bones rather than outer hips. And then see if you can get your shoulders more or less over those hips and the crown of the head reaching tall. If you're comfortable closing your eyes, you could do that now. And then just invite some deeper breaths. Expanding a bit more as you breathe in. And then using your exhales now to soften, there'll be plenty of time to use the exhale to activate, to engage. But right now, see if you can allow something to release. So release tension, release tightness from the shoulders, from the face. And if you want, you could even exhale out of the mouth so the release is a bit more obvious. And maybe it's not releasing physical stuff, but maybe you're letting go of whatever happened before this moment. Maybe you're letting go of any to-do lists. You pick them up later. And see if you can really arrive in this moment. What's happening right now. And if you can, breathe a bit more through your nose, only if it's available and if it's not adding more stress. And then begin to even out your inhales and exhales, making them about the same length. And let's take another breath in, find a bit more length, a bit more lift. And then using your exhales now to activate through those deeper abdominal muscles, draw the belly towards the spine. And then imagine your belly button drawing up towards the lower ribs. And then allow your inhale to arrive and expand a bit more through your rib cage and your chest, trying to keep that lower belly drawing in. You'll notice that now your breath is a bit more about effort, a little bit, so not too much, and also about a bit of heat building. So in, in and out through the nose and then finding that engagement through those deeper abdominal muscles. Let's take another breath in and a breath out. And then with the next inhale, open the eyes. If they were closed, reach your arms wide and then up towards the ceiling. And then on your exhale, take your arms wide and down by your side. Now with your next inhale, bring your arms forward and up by your ears. And then as you exhale, arms wide and down by your side. Again, inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, wide and down. One more time like that. Inhale forward, up. And exhale wide and down. With your next inhale, bring your arms out into a T. And on your exhale, bring your right arm across the chest. Bend the elbow and use your left elbow to draw that elbow. Or use your left hand to draw that elbow in a bit more. Feel a stretch through upper right side, upper back. Breathe in and breathe out. And then switching sides, open your arms out and left arm comes across, bend the elbow, right hand draws that elbow in. Breathing in and breathing out. 
As you inhale, open up those arms, turn your palms to face back, and then bring the hands behind you. Grab the chair, grab opposite hands, and then push that chest forward as you squeeze your shoulder blades. So making some space in the fronts of the shoulders and the rib cage. Breathing in and breathing out. And with your next inhale, release those hands, reach your arms towards the ceiling. This time, bend your left elbow, drop the hand behind the head, and then use your right hand to draw that elbow in. Triceps, armpit stretch, breath in and breath out. Bringing it back through center, inhale, and then switching sides, left, right elbow bends, left hand draws that elbow in. And again, look for that tricep stretch, breathe in and breathe out. As you inhale, both arms reach towards the ceiling, and on your exhale, lower your arms down by your side. Bring your hands to rest on your thighs, breathing in as you lift your heels, and breathing out as you lower heels. And then do that again, lifting as you breathe in, and then pushing down as you breathe out. And again, lift, inhale and push down those heels, exhale. Now as you inhale, lift, and only lower your left heel on the right toes or ball of the foot, rotating through your right hip, finding some movement there. Maybe giving your toes a bit of a stretch, so if you can, tuck them under and untuck them. The top of the ankle, the top of the foot might also feel a stretch and then switch direction. And sometimes to do that, it helps if you bring the foot a bit closer to you. And then bring that knee back through center. And then from here, draw the knee into your chest. So bring your hands around your shin or behind your thigh and find some movement through your ankle. Rotate in one direction. Try to keep your chest broad. And then rotate into in the other direction. Nice. And then pause with that ankle rotation and then release that right foot down. Let's do the same thing with the left. So lifting your heels and then on your exhale, right heel lowers. You're on the ball of that left foot on your toes and then find rotation through that left leg, left hip. Keep that torso lifted and then switch direction. And again, see if you can feel that stretch also happening through your toes, through the top of the foot. And then bringing that knee back through center and then bringing it into the chest. And from here, find some movement through your ankle in one direction. And then switching. A little wiggle through the toes maybe also. And then just release that left foot down. With your next inhale, reach your arms wide up. Interlace your fingers overhead and bring the hands to the back of the head. We're going to open up through that chest, breathing in, open up through those elbows. And then on the exhale, let's find some rounding. Bring those elbows forward and down. And then let's do that two more times, breathing in, open up, and breathing out, round. And one more, inhale and open, and exhale and round. Now as you inhale, let's open up, reach your arms tall, and we're coming into our first twist. Right hand comes behind us and the left hand crosses over. So as you twist here, a lot of times what happens is the right knee will draw back as we turn towards the right side. It's okay for that to happen, but if only that happens, then you're not going to find too much, or you're not going to find that much rotation in your spine. So see if you can keep your knees uh, more or less level and then find rotation, some through the lower spine, not very much, lumbar spine doesn't rotate very far then mostly through the thoracic spine, so through the rib cage. And then your cervical spine rotates quite a bit, okay? So from here, your gaze could go over that right shoulder, so your chin uh, turns towards the right. Take a full breath in and take a full breath out. 
and then come back through center. If it feels good, reach your arms up after the twist. It usually feels good to lengthen. And then we'll go to the other side. So left hand behind us, right hand crosses over. And then we're finding again that rotation, this time towards the left side. Notice the tendency of the left hip to draw back and allow some of that to happen, it's okay. But then make sure that there is rotation through your spine too. You might even try and even out those knees. And then turn your gaze, your chin towards the left side. And find that breath in. And find that breath out. And then use your inhale to return through center. Reach your arms up and then find some space between your feet and your knees. Lower your hands onto your thighs and then reach your chest forward and down. Bring your hands to your shins as you inhale, halfway lift. So really lengthen forward, crown of the head away from tailbone and exhale and fold. So that your chest can stay broad, keep your arms wide, elbows wide. Inhale again, half lift. Exhale and fold. And one more, inhale for a halfway lift, a bit more active and exhale a bit more passive as you fold. This time on your inhale, rising up, hands can come to your thighs, help that spine stack up. And then once you get to that lifted spine, heel to toe your feet back to hip width. Bring your right knee into your chest, give it a squeeze. And then from here, transfer your hands behind your thigh and we're going to extend and bend through that right knee. Challenge here is to keep your spine lifted. So tendency is to round. Try to keep your torso broad. Push through the right heel, extend that right leg and then draw that heel back in. And then do that two more times. Push on the inhale and flex on the exhale. And then push and flex. The next time that your leg is extended, keep it extended. Maybe try and let go of the leg with your hands. See if you can keep that torso open. And then with control, lower that leg all the way down. Heel towards the ground, right leg is extended. As you breathe in, you can reach your arms up. And then as you breathe out, hands to your hips as you fold forward. Pause for a breath in and for a breath out. Use your hands at your hip creases to push those hip creases back and down and see if you can lengthen a bit more the waist. Another breath. And then using your next inhale, rising up through standing, through uh, lifted, and then we'll go into a twist. You can transfer your right hand to your left uh, thigh, your left hand behind you, and then again, Find your way into your twist towards the left side. Breath in and a breath out. Another inhale and another exhale. Coming back through center, breathing in, you might lift those arms overhead. And then on your exhale, lower those hands to your hips once again, and then engage quad hip flexor. See if you can lift that right leg and then bend that knee and plant that right foot. As you breathe in, bring your left knee into your chest, give it a squeeze, find that open broad chest. And then transfer your hands to the back of your thigh. We're going to extend and bend. So as you're ready, push through that left heel and then pull that left heel back. Two more times, breathing in, extend. Breathing out and flex. And again, take it out and bring it back. Now extend it out, keep pushing through the heel, keep it active. And then see if you can let go of the leg and not change anything else. Nice job, really nice. And now with control, lower that leg all the way down to the ground. Inhale, arms can lift. And on your exhale, hands to your hips, folding forward. Lengthen your spine. So for twists, um, 
what you need is you want length in the spine. If you are kind of constricted through the spine and you add a twist, there's more constriction. So we'll use these forward folds to really lengthen actively to find space in the waist. And then the same applies when you go into your twist, your inhales are about lengthening and making space lengthwise. One more breath here. And then use your next inhale to rise through with your chest and then transfer your left hand to your right thigh, your right hand behind you and find your twist towards the right side. And again, use your inhale here, just lengthening up, you're still in your twist. As you exhale, belly draws to spine. It might help you go a bit more into that rotation. It will also support your posture. One more breath. And then coming back through center on the inhale, you can reach your arms tall. And as you exhale, bring your hands again to your hips. And engage quad hip flexor, push through the heel, toes are drawing towards the shin, lift that leg. And then bend that knee and plant your foot. Nice job. As you breathe in, reach your arms up. As you breathe out, opposite interlace of those fingers, so opposite to the one you did before, bend those elbows and hands once again to the back of the head. Open up through the chest, breath in. As you exhale, round your spine, elbows forward and down. On your inhale, open. Now on your exhale, left elbow towards your right thigh. Inhale and open. Exhale, right elbow towards left thigh. Inhale to open. One more time, elbows forward round the spine. Inhale and open, left elbow, right thigh. Inhale and open, right elbow, left thigh. And inhale to open, reach your arms tall. And now on your exhale, right arm down, side stretch. So a clean side bend, there's no forward or back bending. There's no rotation right now. As you breathe in, come back through center. And as you breathe out, take it over to the other side. And breathing in, coming back through center. And then on your exhale, lower your arms down by your side. Okay. So we're going to go now into a bit more of an active twist. We've kind of warmed up the body. So we're going to, um, Actually, if you've got your block, grab your block and plant it between your knees. And you're just going to squeeze that block with your knees. So that's a good way of keeping your legs um, in position and not letting your legs kind of swivel around. So keeping your legs just as they are, squeezing into your block. And now bring your hands, palms together and thumbs glued to the chest. Try to get your elbows and your wrists more or less in line and try to draw the shoulders away from your ears. Okay, so palms together, pressing against one another. Okay. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate. But notice that now the hands are not going to um, kind of help you get into that twist. So you're just going to use core um, abdominal muscles here. So the idea is that the thumbs and the center of the chest stay together. So when you're ready, take a breath in for length. And then on your exhale, rotate towards the right side any amount that is available without moving your hands from where they are. Nice job. Really good. Okay. Try to keep that chest broad. Remember your inhales are about lengthening up. So reach crown of the head tall. Your exhales can take you a little deeper into the twist as you draw the belly towards your spine. Take another breath in, take another breath out. And then as you inhale, return that torso through center, and then we'll go straight to the other side. Exhale, turning towards the left side. And no need to go very far, just notice that rotation coming from the work in that torso. Breathing in. Try to keep your legs as they are, so you're still squeezing the block and your knees are pointing forward. Breathing out, belly to spine. One more here, inhale, lengthening up. 
Exhale, belly to spine. Nice job. Inhale, bring yourself back through center. And now on your exhale, release your hands, move the block out of the way. And from here, we're going to go straight into a forward fold. So find a bit of space uh, between your feet and your knees, hands to your thighs, reach your chest forward and down. Transfer your hands to your shins and then halfway lift on the inhale and folding forward as you exhale. Pausing here in this more passive forward fold. If you found that that twist kind of compressed or you feel some tightness in that back body, see if you can find a bit more space now in this forward fold. So think about your inhales expanding that back body and actually make that happen. And then use your exhales to soften, to release the tension. Let's take two more breaths like that. Breathing in, notice, feel that stretch, return of space into that back body. Exhale, soften. And one more, breathing in. And breathing out. And then with your next inhale, bring your hands again to your thighs, chin to your chest, and slowly, as if you were trying to stack one vertebra over the other, make your way up. Head is the last to lift. And then once you are lifted, bring those feet back to hip width. Give your right knee a hug into your chest, squeeze it in. And then let's find figure four. So crossing that right ankle just over or that left thigh or extending that left leg and crossing at the shin level. That right knee is going to move away from you. It's drawing towards the floor. For some of us, it will be quite high. For some of us, it will be kind of low or even parallel to the ground, but there shouldn't be any pain in that knee. When you're ready, reach your arms up, lengthen, waist expands. And then as you exhale, hands to your hips, maybe there's some flexion available here. Full breath in. And full breath out. Another inhale. And another exhale. And then with your next inhale, let's rise, reaching your arms up. And on your exhale, left hand behind us, right hand crosses over, finding your twist. And even if your hands are there, can you first find that core twist? And then you might use your hands to take you a little further. If that's available, if that's something that benefits you, helps you. Breath in. And breath one more inhale and exhale and then coming back through center if it's helpful reach your arms up lengthen and then on your exhale arms lower and your right leg is going to come all the way over that left thigh so now thigh over thigh, eagle legs, right foot towards that right, that left leg. This time we're not doing eagle arms, we're going into a twist, but it will be towards the right. So when you're ready, reach your arms up, lengthen up. And as you exhale, right hand behind you, left hand crosses over as you turn towards the right side. And again, try to use that core first. And when I say core, I don't mean just uh, the front of the body, but the whole waistline going around that torso. Another breath in. And another breath out. And then returning through center, maybe those arms lift. And on your exhale, lower your arms, unwind your legs, and come back to your seated position. Take a moment here, breath in, maybe close your eyes, and breath out. And with your eyes closed, lift your shoulders up by your ears, and then use your exhale to soften those shoulders down. Two more, just like that, breathing in and lift. Breathing out to lower. One more, breathing in to lift. And softly and lower. And then we'll take all of that onto the other side. So bring your left knee in. Give it a little squeeze. 
find that length through the spine. And then when you're ready, let's find that figure four on this side. So crossing that left ankle over the thigh, over the shin, see what's available. And then again, just make sure that left knee has no pain. Flex through the foot, toes drawing towards your shin. When you're ready, you can reach your arms up, inhale. And then on your exhale, your hands could come to your hips and find that flexion if it's available forward and down. Full breath in and a full breath out. And then coming back through center, reaching your arms up, we'll find a twist towards the right side, right hand behind us, left hand crossing over. Might come to the foot, but if that means that that left shoulder comes forward, you could bring that left hand to your thigh or to your right hip. Again, use that core to find that rotation. Remember, less rotation in the lumbar spine, that lower spine, more rotation in the thoracic spine, a lot of rotation through the cervical spine, and you're welcome to keep the head more neutral in line with your torso or to look over your shoulder. But sometimes the parts of the spine that are more mobile by nature, we tend to focus on those. And then the ones that are more difficult to move or have less range, we don't move them at all. So just make sure that you've got some happening through the whole of the spine. With your next breath in, bring yourself back through center. You could reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, lower your arms, and then that left thigh is going to slide all the way over the right. Your eagle legs here, squeeze that left foot towards the right. And then when you're ready, arms lift. And now we're going to twist towards the left side. So left hand behind us and right hand crosses over. Your legs are still eagle legs. Your knees are still pointing forward. And you're finding that turn through the torso towards the left side. And a full breath in. And a full breath out. And then coming back through center, reaching your arms up, lengthen, lengthen. And on your exhale, lower those arms down and unwind your legs. Nice job. Take a moment here, full breath in. And a full breath out. And actually, before we come up to stand, let's find a little movement through the neck just to let the rest of the body kind of relax for a bit. So take a full inhale. And then on your exhale, drop the left ear to the left shoulder. You could stay here, allowing that right shoulder to drop heavy. You could bring your left hand to the side of the head and just use the weight of the arm to, you know, add a little bit more stretch. So not too much pressure here. If you want extra stretch, your right arm might drop by your side. Encourage that right shoulder to drop and encourage the uh, left ear to go towards the left shoulder. And then coming back through center. And then just take a moment center, allow things to settle. And then whenever you're ready, we'll find it on the other side. So the right ear is going to go to the right shoulder. You might stay here, left shoulder's heavy. You might add your right hand to the head, just like we did on the other side. You might allow your left arm to drop heavy. So the weight of the right arm is encouraging the right ear towards the right shoulder. The weight of the left arm is encouraging the left shoulder to move away from that left ear even further. Breath in and breath out. Gently coming back through center, let your hands rest on your thighs, take a moment, breathing in and breathing out. All right, so we are coming up to stand. So let's find, find those feet well planted. We're going to add a twist when we come to our um, imaginary chair. So um, prepare for that. 
And then from here, when you're ready, three times up and down. So arms in front of you, maybe, or hands to hips, whatever works for you. Lift your sit bones and then return your sit bones to your seat. Return your shoulders over your hips. And then again, come forward, lift. Keep your knees bent and lower. Exhale. One more time, as smooth as you can. Inhale and lift. Nice job. And exhale and lower. This time we're going to stay lifted, but stay with a bend in your knees. So it's what in yoga we call chair pose, but there's no chair under those sit bones. And then from here, your right arm is going to stay reaching forward. Your left arm drops by your side and then turn the palm out and reach it behind you. And as you do that, your torso turns towards the left. No change in your legs or minimum change. And then bring your arms forward again, face forward. And then right arm lowers by your side. Turn your palm out and turn your torso towards the right. No change in your legs. And then again, coming forward. And then with your next inhale, straighten legs, come all the way up to stand. Lower your right arm by your side, side stretch. Come back through center, inhale. And left arm by your side and other side. Coming back through center, inhale. One more stretch for the whole body. Interlace those fingers overhead. Push the palms towards the ceiling. Depending on how adventurous you're feeling here, maybe you even come onto the balls of the feet. Push, 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 push. And then on your exhale, heels lower. If they were lifted, arms lower by your side. Wiggle those fingers. And we're going to turn to the back of the chair. We're going to give those twists a little rest. We'll come back to them in a moment. And we're going to get into a uh, into the top of the foot, uh, the shin. So a bit of a lunge here. So hands on the back of the chair, just resting there. And then your standing position to begin with. And when you're ready, lift your left foot off the ground and then see if you can point your toes away from you. So get that stretch going through the top of the foot and then send your foot behind you and see if you can come onto your toes, onto the tops of the toes, onto the top of the foot. So first stage would be short stance. The foot is just not that far away from you. And this might be plenty of stretch and pressure on that left foot. If you know there's a bit more range available, bend into your right knee and send your left foot a little further back. So when you do that, um, because the top of that back foot is kind of, you know, delicate, is not that it's usual position. Um, your right thigh is going to start having to work quite a bit. You'll be putting more weight into that right leg. So take that into account and then find a squeeze through your left glute. Full breath in. Remember, this is about stretching the front of the ankle, the top of the foot, maybe even into the shin. So your toes are pointing away from you. One more breath, wherever you're at. And then when you're ready, bring that weight forward, step your foot forward, plant the foot, tall, 10 toes are pointing forward, and then give your left toes a little wiggle. Well, actually give all 10 toes a little wiggle. And then we'll go to the other side. So when you're ready, lift that right foot, point your toes as best you can. And then send that foot behind you, maybe a short step. So your left leg stays more in this extended position. And this might be plenty, as I said, for that top of that left foot. You might even send a little weight back here. If there's a bit more available, you might bend into that left knee and then send your right foot even further back and send a bit more weight into it, squeeze through your right glute, bend into that left knee, left quad is going to start working a little bit more. But again, remember, it's about the top of the foot, the stretch through the toes, the front of the ankle, the shin. So your toes need to be pointed away from you. Breathing in. 
and breathing out. Soften through the face, the shoulders, one more breath. And then bring weight into that front leg, step that back foot forward, all 10 toes point forward, wiggle those toes. It's quite an intense stretch, so we'll give those feet a little moment here to adjust again. And then we're going to give them a bit more attention. So we're going to lift and lower on the balls of the feet. Um, try to go straight up and straight down. So notice if you tend to go forward um, and try to avoid some of that. So again, hands can rest on the back of the chair. And when you're ready, inhale, coming onto the balls of the feet, heels lift. Exhale, lowering heels. And then again, straight up, inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. Squeeze through the glutes, draw belly in. Inhale, lift. Nice job. Exhale, lower. And this time, inhale to lift. We're going to lower slowly. So we're going to lower halfway with those heels as you exhale. You're still on the balls of the feet. Take another breath in. Exhale, lower the heels to hover. They're still off the ground. Inhale here, and exhale, lower your heels all the way to the ground. Keep your hands on the back of the chair, walk your feet back, come into a down dog here. So stretch the whole back body from your fingers all the way to your sit bones. Find that bend in your knees so that you can free up your sit bones and lift them and spread them. Maybe your head is between your arms, arms maybe by your ears. See if you can find length in the side body too. Full breath in. And full breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. And then use your next breath in to walk those feet towards the chair, coming back up to stand. And then we're going to turn to the seat of the chair. So a little wide leg um, twist. So we're going to meet in a table pose. Your hands are on the seat of the chair, more or less under your shoulders. And then you're going to heel to toe your feet out. So wide leg. So if you're on your mat, you might bring your feet to the outside um, of your mat. So off the mat probably. Um, so that they're wider, definitely wider than shoulders. Okay. And then from here, bring your right hand just under your nose or under your face and plant it. Your right elbow is in more extended, extended position. And then bend your left elbow and see if you can bring your hand to the back of your head, the base of your skull. Your elbow is going to, your arm actually is going to be more or less parallel to the ground. The same thing with your torso to begin with. And then take a full breath in. And then on your exhale, left elbow towards right hand. So you're turning towards your right side. Your gaze goes to the right. And now on your inhale, left elbow towards the ceiling. So you're opening the torso towards the left side. We'll move like that a couple more times, drawing the elbow towards the hand. And then opening on the inhale towards the ceiling. Exhale towards the hand. Inhale to open. Exhale towards the hand. And now inhale, open. And then see if you can reach your left hand towards the ceiling. So extend your arm. Push through the bottom hand. You're turning your torso towards the left side. Breathing in. And then on your exhale, lower the left hand. Replace the right hand with your left hand and we'll do all of that on the other side. So your right hand now comes behind the head. And again, and we're not putting pressure on the head here with the hand, it's just a place to rest it, okay? And then take a full breath in here. And on your exhale, right elbow towards left hand, your gaze turns towards the left side. And then inhale, now elbow towards the ceiling. Your torso turns towards the right. Exhale, elbow towards the hand. 
turning towards the left. Inhale, elbow towards the ceiling, opening towards the right. Exhale, elbow to hand. Inhale and open one more time. Exhale to hand. And now on your inhale, we're opening up towards the right and then extend your right arm towards the ceiling. Push through your left hand, breathing in. And on your exhale, right hand lowers. Coming back to your table pose, heel to toe, your feet back to hip width. And then bring your hands to your hips, chin to your chest and roll, unroll the spine all the way up to stand. Once you get to stand, allow your arms to relax by your side. Give your fingers a little wiggle. Give your wrists a rotation. Notice any sensations in that body. And we'll make our way down onto the ground. So chair might come out of the way for now. And then we'll meet in a seat. The legs are going to be in front of us and sit bones planted. So whenever you get there, so take your time, no rush. Um, your feet are going to go wide, your knees are going to go wide too, and the knees will be bent. And we're going to find our window wiper legs and we'll take it into a bit more of a twist when we get there. Remember when we do those window wiper legs, Try to free up your hips some. So your sit bones, both of them don't have to be planted. When your knees go to one side, the opposite sit bone will lift so that you can let your knees drop down a bit further towards the ground. All right, when you're ready, hands to your outer hips. Find that lift through the spine, that broad chest. Take a full inhale. And then on your exhale, lower the knees towards the left side. Right sit bone lifts. As you inhale, come back through center. And then knees go over towards the right side. Left sit bone lifts. There's a bit, you're sitting more on the right side of your uh, hips. And then back through center, inhale, knees towards the left. And inhale, back through center. And knees towards the right. Now on your inhale, bring yourself back through center. Take your knees over towards the left side and we're coming into our twist. So your right hand is going to come over and you've got both hands kind of aligned more or less with your um, left thigh. Okay. There you go, nice job. And then just notice the twist here through the torso. Notice also some space in the front of that right hip. Squeeze through your right glute. You might be able to turn a bit more towards the space behind you. And again, remember what comes to play here. Lumbar spine, there's some rotation, but not very much. Thoracic spine, there's a little bit more. So you might be able to turn your rib cage a little bit more towards the space behind you. And then cervical spine rotates quite a bit. Not as much as owls do, but quite a bit. Noticing that and take a full breath in and take a full breath out. And then bring that right arm back, undo the twist, coming back through center. Before we go to the other side, bring your hands to your th uh, shins and then take a full breath in, bring the chest forward. And then on your exhale, really round that spine. So if you noticed any constriction, maybe on the right side of that lower back, back body, use this cat pose now, this seated cat, to find a bit more space uh, back there. Let's see if you can feel that. Another breath in right here, rounded spine, breath out. And then bring yourself back to neutral, hands again to the outer hips, and then we'll take it to the other side. So feet are still wide, knees are still wide. Prop your spine up. Remember, anytime we come into a twist, lengthen up first, and then drop your knees towards the right. Left hand comes over, and we begin to turn 
towards the space behind us, any amount that is available. So again, just see what's available in your body. And it's not so much about you've got to be facing back, it's about moving in that direction and just see what's available. Notice that the lower back will say, that's it, I'm not going any further. The thoracic spine will go a little bit more and then that will be it. And then the cervical spine will go a little bit more and then that will be it. Okay, so make sure that you respect those boundaries, those limits. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more breath. And then undoing. Coming back through center, left hand comes over, those knees come back up. And then if you've got your block nearby, plant that block between your feet, your hands on it. Okay, so feet are still wide, knees are still wide, your hands are between your legs with your block, and then walk your hands and your block forward, as far forward as you can. And again, we're looking for that stretch, right? So that space in that back body once again. After a twist, we're trying to lengthen, restore space. Use your breath to expand a bit more through that back, breathing in and breathing out. Last one here, inhale and exhale. And then we'll walk those hands back towards us. You can put the block to the side and we're coming all the way onto our back. So depending on how you're feeling, you might come onto your side. If not, reach your arms in front of you, broaden chest and with control, lower, lower back and then lower mid back and upper back. And lastly, the head. Once you are there, those knees can come into the chest. Probably it's going to feel nice on that back body to hug those knees in. So take advantage of this for a moment. Maybe those knees are together, you're squeezing them in, and you might even be lifting that sacrum off the mat some. So allow that rounding to happen. You might also move a bit from side to side. Give yourself another breath in and another breath out. And then let's keep that right knee into the chest. You could have your hands around your shin or you could bring your hands behind that thigh. Keep it drawing in and then extend your left leg onto the ground. Push down through your heel and any part of that left leg that is in touch with the ground. And then draw your right knee towards your right armpit. So you're using this to broaden through that lower back. Full inhale. And full exhale. And then bring that left knee back in towards your chest and then switch the hands. So hands come behind that left thigh or around the shin, whatever is available. And then extend your right leg all the way out and rest it on the mat. But keep it active. So you're pushing into the mat with that right leg and then you're drawing your left knee towards your left armpit. Once again here, we're trying to expand a bit more through that lower back. So push that area into the mat. Full inhale. And full exhale. And now with your next inhale, bring that right knee in towards your chest. 
Left hand stays behind that left knee. Now the right hand comes behind that right knee and then draw the knees wide. Left knee towards the left armpit, right knee towards the right armpit. So beginning stages of your um, happy baby here, another neutralizing pose for that back body. So you might stay here, heels heavy towards the glutes. You might lift those feet towards the ceiling, but don't lose the connection of the back body with the ground and try to draw those knees towards your armpits. Maybe your hands walk up the shins towards the ankles or the soles of the feet. But again, this is not the important part. The important part is to keep that back body on the ground. So you've still got that neutralizing, neutralizing action going on. Full breath in and full breath out. One more inhale. And then exhale, releasing your happy baby, planting your feet. Maybe your knees stay bent and you allow your knees to rest against one another. Bring your hands to your belly and find three belly breaths meaning that your inhales are expanding the belly into your hands, your exhales are drawing the belly away from the hands. And now for these last moments of practice, looking for some stillness, for that pause, that rest. That might happen in this position, or you might find one that is more conducive to rest for you. So maybe your legs extend, maybe there's a pillow or a blanket behind your knees to support those legs and that lower back. You might come onto your side instead or you might find a comfortable seat. Allow your breath to be just that automatic, normal breath. And for the next few minutes, see if you can let yourself be. Let go of the doing. And as always, if you got the time to stay, feel free to do that. If not, draw attention to your breath. Deepen your inhale, lengthen your exhale. And then move the body in any way that feels good to you. Be gentle, be slow, be intentional. And then eventually, let's meet in a comfortable seat. 
to end practice together. Take your time to get there. Find that lifted spine, maybe keep your eyes closed. And then let's take this moment to acknowledge the practice and then to acknowledge ourselves for practicing, to acknowledge those who practice with us, to acknowledge those who make it possible. And we'll end with a word that means that the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.